This person asked, what are some exercises I can do throughout the day, every day, to feminize my voice? So, of course, the answer to this question varies from person to person, as each person's definition of a feminine voice is unique to them. However, in my experience, most people seeking to feminize their voice are looking to do three things. Brighten their resonance, raise their average pitch, and lighten their vocal fold mass. So with these goals in mind, let's look at three easy exercises to feminize your voice. So number one is to brighten resonance. To brighten your voice's resonance, you need to gain control over the size and shape of your vocal tract. The most effective way to do this is to master control of the height of the larynx. The higher the larynx, the smaller the vocal tract, and the brighter the resonance. To gain fine motor control over the height of the larynx, my favorite exercise is the whisper scream. You're going to aspirate on an eh vowel as in edge, so that sounds like this. Your vocal fold should be partially open, allowing the air to pass through with some resistance, but not vibrating to create pitch. If you put your hand on your neck, you shouldn't feel any vibration when you're doing this exercise. If you do that, where you make a little bit of sound with the vocal folds, you'll feel a little buzziness right here. It should sound like, but not too strained, like, we want it to be more open than that. Once you've mastered that sound, you can start darkening and brightening it. Start with a yawn shape to create a darker sound. (sighs) (sighs) Then move your larynx up to make that sound brighter or more glassy sounding. You can either do this stepwise or on a gliss. Don't overthink it, just try and copy the sounds that I'm making. This exercise is from Zena Arose uh, from Trans Voice Lessons on YouTube, so if you like this one, go give her a follow over there. Number two is to raise the average pitch. So to work on raising your average pitch, the exercise I recommend is simply to memorize a new starting pitch. Everyone will be comfortable with a different pitch, so it might take a little experimentation to find the pitch that's right for you. Most of the students that I've worked with have fallen somewhere between E3 and A3, but a little higher or a little lower is comfortable. So E3. Uh, 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 uh. So this is gonna sound a little low in my voice, but if you are trans feminine and you are feminizing, this might feel a little in the upper range of your voice. So anywhere in there um, is fine. Just experiment and find something comfortable. Don't try and make this note the highest note that you can comfortably do. You want this starting pitch to be the new middle low end of your range so that you still have some headroom to comfortably express yourself. Once you've chosen your pitch, uh, uh, you're going to play it regularly and repeat it until you can accurately guess it without hearing it first. And trust me, if you have viral TikTok songs rolling through your head all day in their original key, you can do this exercise. Number three is to lighten your vocal fold mass. Lightening your vocal fold mass is all about creating sound efficiently. In other words, we want to use the least amount of effort while still creating a full and healthy sound. The best way to do this, hands down, is straw phonation. Straw phonation is a favorite among singers, actors, and other voice professionals because of how powerful it is at creating efficient phonation. All you have to do is hum through a straw. You can do other vocalizations, but humming on a single note or glissing through your range is sufficient for trans voice work. The secret to this exercise is to find the right amount of back pressure. If there isn't enough pressure, like when you sing through a kazoo, you won't get the desired lightness in your speech. But if there's too much pressure, then you won't be able to do the exercise at all. Companies like Singing Straw sell these sets of three straws with different diameters, but you can increase the pressure of a normal straw simply by putting it in water. That is all for today. If you like these exercises and you want to learn more, check out my existing e-course, Trans Vocal Exploration. 
But I might have another course specifically for people looking to feminize their voice coming out soon. So if you want to hear about that when it launches, get on my mailing list. You'll find all of that in the link in my bio. I hope this helped.